com. Okay, so I'm going to try to stay close to the camera here, not move around very much. There's seats uh, uh, right in here. There's some seats up over in here, wherever you'd like. Front row. <laughs> You're going to crink in your neck. <laughs> okay, what is teaching English as a foreign language all about? Let me give you an illustration first. Who here does not know how to play the piano? Somebody that does not know how to play the piano. Uh, okay, uh, let's see here. Yeah, right there. Why don't you come up here real quick. And uh, we're, we're going to demonstrate something for you. I am an expert piano teacher. Yeah, right. Okay. I don't know how to play the piano very well at all. So stand right here. And uh, we are, I am going to teach you how to play the piano. Aren't you excited? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first thing, take your hands and put them out like this. Okay, we're going to play a C chord. C chord, okay, you uh, kind of put three fingers out like that, and three fingers maybe over here, I, I think. Okay, and then just go like this, go dun, dun, dun. dun, dun, dun. Oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't this the best way in the world to teach somebody how to play the piano? Isn't this awesome? What are we missing? Yeah. Piano, okay. Now, let's say, for example, we were to do this for an entire year. How well do you think he could play the piano? Not at all, right? Um, okay, now, okay, thank you. Have a seat. Okay, let's say we were going to do this, and uh, uh, I actually used the piano, but every time he made a mistake, I never corrected him. How well do you think he'd play, play the piano? Better, but not near as good, okay? So what you end up in this world of teaching English as a foreign language, you're going to run across people that probably started learning English when they were in second, third, fourth grade, somewhere around there, and they have been learning English the most of their life. But a lot of what they learn is from somebody who is not a native speaker, a not, not a native English speaker, and they are taught in the language that they already know. Okay? So they'll they'll spend a good Oh, sometimes 10 years with almost no opportunity to speak English. It's just like trying to learn the piano without actually having a piano. They learn the mechanics, they learn the structure, they learn the grammar, they, they learn all of that, but really they never get a chance to use their English. And so that's where we come in. So what, what happens is they get to high school, they get to college, sometimes even graduated from college and into a business, and they realize if I'm going to go to the next step, i got to find a way to find a foreign teacher. And I have met uh, literally probably in the last eight or nine months, hundreds, about around 100 people that I've tutored online that that's exactly where they're at, and they just want a way to practice English. Uh, just two weeks ago, I had a class, and the man, he is, uh, he started a business in China, and uh, he grew the business until a company bought him out, and he stayed on as the manager, and now he's bored with that business, so he wants to go get his MBA at an elite college in, in Shanghai, but the one thing he's missing is English. So he spent $20 an hour just to practice English. Literally, we spent the whole time just talking and chit-chatting for one whole hour. I got all done. I said, well, I really don't feel like I have taught you anything. And he said, well, this is exactly what I'm wanting. I'm just wanting a chance to practice. I'm like, okay, if that's all you want, I, I can do this. And uh, so that's what a lot of it is. You don't have to know their language. I've taught people in Korea, I've taught people in China, Russia, Japan, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Brazil, Peru, Mexico, all over the world. And I speak Chinese, but whenever I teach a Chinese, I never, I never use Chinese. Uh, I know one Korean word. Anybody here speak Korean? Oh, good, because I'm going to butcher this word, and that way you don't have to make fun of me. But uh, it's Daharaseo. Uh, that means repeat after me. <laughs> That's the only word that I know in Korean. But, uh, uh, but I, I've enjoyed it a lot. And 
I, I had to learn that word because I was teaching a six-year-old English. And so I would give him a lot of pictures, I would give him a lot of vocabulary, and he would just repeat after me. Uh, we only had like 20 minutes a day classes and we had a lot of fun. But uh, So the main idea about teaching English as a foreign language is coaching. You're not really teaching, you're coaching. And so if you get the distinction there uh, between teaching and like what I'm doing now is the worst way to teach English, to get up and lecture. You want to give them as many opportunities as possible to communicate and speak back to you. And they want a lot of correction when, when you're talking with them. 